Baking Basics. My name is Danielle and this is Sweet Dreams Cakes. Today we're going to be making some butter shortbread Valentine's cookies. Okay. So first of all we need 175 grams of plain flour, 50 grams of parsley sugar, and 125 grams of diced salted butter. So with the fingers we're just going to rub the flour and the sugar into the butter and make some little breadcrumb dips. It may take a little while to do this. Right, so now we've got our bits that resemble breadcrumbs. We're just going to use our hands and squeeze it together, and this will bind it up. And then we have our dough ready to go. So now we're going to roll out our pastry. Um, I've got a silicon mat down here, but you don't have to use one. I just find it a lot easier. We just coat that with some flour and we get some of our dough. Just knead it in your hands a little bit. Put a little bit of flour on the top. You want the thickness about the size of a one pound, or sorry, the thickness of a one pound coin. About that. Now I'm going to take my heart cutter just cut out some heart shapes. So now we're going to pop these on our grease proof tray. You do want to be really, really careful with them. Just reshape and get to the shape. You don't want to put them too close together. So you want your oven on at 170 and the dough's go in for about eight to ten minutes or until the edges are just slightly starting to turn golden brown. Our heart biscuits straight out of the oven. So as you can see, they've just gone a little bit brown round there. Um, leave them on the tray to cool because they are still quite fragile whilst they're warm. Right, so now our cookies are out of the oven and they need to be decorated. They're cool. So I've got some royal ice in here, and this is the run out consistency. And we're just going to add some bread food colour to it. And um, this is a paste and it's just quite concentrated on its colour. And now that's done, we've got a round tip knob on here. And we're just going to cut off the end of the bottom. Just 
try this here. Leave them to dry, and then I'll come back to decorate them in a bit more. So. Okay. Right, so now our cookies are dried for 24 hours, and now I'm going to show you how to decorate them. So, I've already pre prepared some stiff royal icing. So, our first one has a petal nozzle, and this is a white icing. Our second one is green, which has a leaf nozzle. And our third one is another white one, which has got a small round tip. So we're going to start off with the petal nozzle first. We're going to have the thin end facing down. Just tighten this up. So we've got the thin end here, the thick end here. Starting in the corner of our cookie. Right, so starting with this petal nozzle, we're just going to do some petals. What you want to have is the thinnest end at the point there, the thickest end at the top. And then just as you push the icing, just curve it around. Okay. And then with our leaf nozzle, we want to turn it so that the points are up, so we're going to move it this way. Just gently squeeze and pull. Gently squeeze and pull. Squeeze. We're going to move those ones like that. With our round nozzle, we're going to do the decoration around the side. So we're going to start in the corner here, just squeeze the blob and then drop. Squeeze the blob, drop. Squeeze the blob and drop. You can obviously put someone's initials in here, that's something that we want to do, or they're just nice and simple to say. And just a finishing touch that you can add on there. A little pound of 